I'm Tommy from Bear. I'm Nick from Kook. And we're playing with Sand Castles today. Now, we're not at the beach, and we don't have the best weather for playing with Sand Castles, but I mean, it's never a bad day to play with Sand Castles. Alright, so we have two identical Sand Castles here and one five pound mass. What will happen when I drop the mass just like this? Make your prediction now. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. This one held. This one held. <laughs> Try it again. This one held again! What is happening? Alright, sorry guys, we lied to you. These, these aren't two identical castles of sand. This here, this one here, that is real sand. See? No lies, no gimmicks. But this one here, if you look inside, it's got little cloth layers in it. It held. Instead of being held together by molecular bonds, like steel is, soil is held together by internal friction between its own particles. Frictional force is considered shear strength. Shearing is the breaking off of material due to structural strain. Shear strength is an object resistance to shear. If a vertical force is applied to an angled plane, the force acts both normal and parallel to the plane. The parallel component of the force increases the shear stress, which leads to sliding. The steeper the plane, the more is stress force. If shear stress exceeds shear strength, the castle will crumble. So this is the crumbling of the castle due to the shear stress exceeding shear strength. With the same vertical force applied to a horizontal plane, the force is 100% normal, increasing the shear strength and decreasing the shearing. When the soil is naturally in the ground, it is held together by the horizontal force of all the soil next to it. This force is called confining pressure. When you take the soil out of the ground, there is no more horizontal force on it. So when you apply a vertical pressure, the soil crumbles. Therefore, when building above ground without reinforcements, the soil must be much wider in order to support the same amount of weight as if it were in the ground. The tension in the reinforcements, in this case cloth, is generating the necessary confining pressure. In the picture here, you can see how this pressure acts perpendicular to the failure planes, increasing the shear strength of the sand, and thus allows the sand to support much more weight. 